Hello guys, Absolute Duelist here with another One Piece match for you guys today. Today we are going to be doing a match between, I believe, my red-green raw deck and against Kaido. So we're going to basically be seeing what's going to happen here, we're going to have some fun. It looks like the Kaido player is mulliganing, and I am also mulliganing. We're going to go ahead and put our cards back into the deck, hopefully get a better hand than our hand from before. Offer our opponent a cut, and we're going to see where this essentially goes. Now, I don't know who's going first. I can't remember what the dices were. So, we're going to go ahead and draw our hands, flip our commanders, and see where this goes. So, putting down life, making sure you don't forget that, because that can be just a game loss. And, yeah, let's begin. So, it looks like I'm going first as a lower player. Player Bonnie and pass. He plays two Don, plays a two blocker, and then we get two more Don. We're going to go ahead and, well, we're tapping the Bonnie, it seems. Looking at the top five cards, we take a bullet. Not really great against Kaido. It can get rid of that blocker, but the best thing to use it on is actually a queen. We're just looking at our hand now, seeing if there's anything better we can do. We tap to Don, playing a Nekomamushi, tapping the blocker, and then I think we're swinging at the blocker. And he lets it die. He draws for turn, gets two more Don. Plays an Onigashima, so he's able to start ramping. That's one of the best cards in the entire deck. He does also attack the Bonnie, and yeah. So we untap our Don, get two more Don, draw for turn. Seeing what we can essentially do here. Looks like we're just going to swing with the Law. He takes it. And then we're going to tap five Don here to play our Law. Returning the neck of Mushi and playing a Zoro with another swing. Okay, we pass turn there. He stands his Kaido, gets more Don. Taps the Onigashima to get one more Don. Honestly, Onigashima in Kaido is so strong and just a very powerful card, allowing you to get so much extra resource and letting you get to the point where you can just use the Kaido ability and also just get to your higher characters really easily, such as King and play Queen a lot quicker. So, honestly, just a really insane card in purple. He puts one Don on the Kaido, though, and attacks the Zoro. Looks like I'm thinking of countering it here. Will we counter it? We do counter with the Ezo, and he plays the 6-drop King to kill the Zoro. So we did waste a counter there. Kind of disappointing, but he does also have a pass. So we get two more done, and untap, and we draw for turn. Seeing what we have... What's the play here? Okay, so we tap one Don, play an Otama, tap four to kill the King. Okay, not a bad play there, because of Otama plus Jet Pistol does kill essentially anything in the game. But it looks like we're really down on resources this game, not really being able to get to a Bonnie or, well, we had a Bonnie but it died, not being able to get to a Nami either. It looks like we're putting two Don onto the Lore as well. Yeah, we're putting two Don onto the Lore and attacking the Kaido. Okay, he takes the hit and he gets a trigger, so he gets one more Don because of the trigger there, the six drop that can kill any creature. Can't remember the name, I think it's Barakio Bomber or something, but it does kill a creature and on trigger gives you an active Don. So we're seeing what else we can do, probably debating if we want to attack with the law. Probably not the best thing, and we don't. So he goes ahead and untaps his Don, gets two more Don, so he's now on max Don now, he's on 10. And he goes ahead and puts one Don on the Kaido, swings with the Kaido, we take the hit. Probably trying to dig for a Nami, hopefully, in the life. Because honestly, it looks like we're really down on resource here, but the Kaido player is going to play it back. Black Maria plays a Queen and is most likely going to draw two. Yep, and then he'll probably use the Onigashima to get that one Don back as well. Honestly, Kaido just has a lot of resource in the late game. A lot more so in the early game, but you need to be able to build up the resource and it looks like we didn't get it. So, Onigashima did go ahead and put that Don down. We get two more Don ourselves, now going up to nine with our opponent already on ten. We draw for turn. And just debating what we're going to do now. He does have two blockers, potentially a, well, 6k blocker with the Black Maria. And he also has the 6k blocker with the queen. So we're going to see where this goes. I'm not too sure what we're going to do here. It looks like we're tapping forward to kill the queen. Okay, with jet pistol. That means both our jet pistols are gone because it really is only a two of in law. So you don't really need to play more than two. But it doesn't do the best against anything but queen in this deck. Because just straight killing the queen is always nice. We have five Don left though. What are we going to do with it? I think we're just debating if we want to put it on things. Maybe attack. We just straight swing with the law, and he counters it, okay? We swing with a 5k Otama, he blocks with the Black Maria, putting one back to put it into a 6k position, and then we swing with the law to kill the Black Maria. Okay, looks like we're just debating something here. Oh no, we swing at the, we swung at the Kaido. Okay, so my mistake there, must have been thinking I was swinging at the Black Maria, just trying to get his life down from the looks of it. 
Okay, so he keeps the Black Maria. It might have been better to ki kill the Black Maria there because it gives him an extra attacker. But I don't know. So he puts two on the Kaido. No? One on the Kaido attacks the Law. Okay. Are we going to counter it? I'd assume we counter this, right? Because we kind of need the Law to play the game. So... We just let the Law die, not wanting to lose resources. Okay. Like, the Law's really important there. It's surprising I let it die. So he plays a Queen now. Taps the five. Got to put one back to draw two and discard one. What's he going to discard? Okay, so he discards page one. Taps two to play another blocker. Attacks with the Maria and then gets his one Don back with the Onigashima. We untap all our Don. We're now on ten. Okay, where are we going to go with this? Because we don't really have any resource on the board, so we're in a very bad position here. Like... Honestly, Lord does need its resources, but without its resources, it can't really go anywhere. So it looks like we just put four Don onto the Law. He blocks with the Queen and prevent, ten, prevents the Queen from dying. Okay. So we play a Chopper. We play a Lord to return the Chopper and play a Nekomushi, tapping the Blocker. Okay. Interesting choice there, because like there's not really a reason to do that, because of you can just like we we can't attack the Blocker, so there's not really a point. So he just gets the Blocker back for free. I guess we're just really down on resources, not being able to play anything, not like Zoros or anything. So maybe we just played the Nekomamushi to put a body on board. Taking a life again, hopefully getting to something that we can actually use to play the game. He drops the 9-drop Kaido to kill the Law and gain Rush. So he's going to be able to attack for more damage there. Okay, so he swings with the 10k Kaido. Kaido. We take the hit. And then we untap our Don after he passes. Okay, so we untap the Law. Drop a turn. Okay, where's this going? Honestly, the Kaido being on one life doesn't really do anything. So it's really a debate of what did we draw? Can we get to more resources? Is there a way to play this game? Honestly, not too sure because we're not in a great position, but we do have a quite a decent amount of cards in hand right now. Potentially able to play through this. So it looks like we're just figuring out our Don management, figuring out how we want to play these cards. So... We're going to put Freedom on the Nekomamushi. Swings at the Kaido. Probably going to counter it. It's only 6k. Yeah, 2k counter on the Kaido side. Thinking maybe put Don 6k onto the Law. Counters it again with another 2k. Taps one to play a Chopper. Taps another one to play another Chopper. Taps another one to play a Beijie. And taps one more to play a Nami. So this is going to leave us susceptible to a King now. Oh, so instead of actually playing the Beije, oh no, we return the Beije to play a Robin. Okay. It might be better to return the Nekomamushi there instead, just because the Nekomamushi could potentially tap one of his blockers. So maybe that was a misplay. So he plays a queen, a king, to go ahead and kill the chopper. Okay. Goes ahead and removes seven don to get rid of the last life. Swings for 6k. Uses a blocker. Swings for another five. We one k counter it. Swings with the queen, and we lose, I think. Yeah, we can't do anything. We're unable to play the game. But nonetheless, that was a pretty good game. Like, honestly, it went back and forth. Um, sadly, we didn't get any resources, but great game. Honestly, lots of fun, and I hope you did enjoy it, guys. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.